Hello everyone, making another video. This time to complete the previous video that I've just made about the coming of Jesus. Um, and this video is to say what does the coming of Jesus really brings. For many of us, when we think about the coming of Jesus, we only think about the rapture. But it's not just about the rapture. And this is why many are having the wake up call um since early this year i'm one of them who had this call um and again i say this call is to i believe there is to mark the beginning of the great tribulation um and other things that are to come which is um the big i believe to be the beginning of the great tribulation to mark the beginning of a great tribulation um, for those that are meant to serve God, to wake up and start doing the work of God. Um, the fall of Babylon the Great. The coming of the two witnesses, um, which are the two last prophets. Which again, they are the proof that there are no true religion out there. Because they're going to have to prophesy everything all over again. It has already been lost from the past years and centuries. Things that uh, Jesus have been, um, the gospel has been lost. So they're going to come again as well to preach about it. And to prepare people and to be the last, you know, chance that people are going to have to um, to accept the gospel of Jesus right before he comes. So when he truly comes, that's when it's going to be um, first the resurrection of the elected ones, and also the rapture, together with the rapture. So when he comes, he's gonna come together with um, he's gonna come together with the resurrection um, of the dead first, and then that's when people will be raptured. And I took some pictures, some notes of the the um, scriptures in the Bible talking about all these things, all the references that you know I took from the Bible, explaining all these things. I was a little bit, you know unsure about certain things so I had to do some study and some you know um, review about things to make sure that you know I pass the right message for you people because doing this job is not easy you know and I made a video prior to this one before and I didn't post it because I had said something that wasn't accurate which I was mentioning about the three days of darkness and because I've heard it so much, I mentioned about it, but I've been searching in the Bible for it and I couldn't find it. No reference to do with the three days of darkness. And I was getting frustrated, absolutely frustrated, because I couldn't find at all. So I've been searching for it almost the full day, one full day. I didn't even eat because I was so desperate, because I had already made the video, and I was, you know, trying to search for the scriptures to put it on, because God told me to search the, the scriptures to put it on in the description. But he wasn't telling me because about the three days of rapture, that wasn't right. The, the three days of darkness, that wasn't right. So he told me to, to once I um, search for the scriptures, then obviously I would find that that wasn't the right one. So I didn't find it. So I was really frustrated. I was I was so upset, so angry, you know, so angry, and um, I felt really bad. I felt like quit doing this job, you know, for God. I I, I didn't feel like I was, you know, um, capable of doing this job. So then God told me, just speak about the things I told you about. That's when then I realized that he never mentioned about me about the three days of darkness. But about the great tribulation, he has showed me visions about it. He has, you know, told me about the two witnesses. He has told me, uh, he has shown me visions about the rapture, you know, and, um, you know, his coming and everything. So, um, yeah, so I'm very confident about the other topics, but the three days of darkness, no. So I had to cut the video off. Cause I don't want to be misleading anyone. I don't want anybody's blood on my head. I'm serious. 
um the thing there is yeah the why i believe that the three days um oh gosh why i believe that the great tribulation it's gonna start this year it's because i believe that the two witnesses gonna be the last thing that jesus is gonna do before he comes and that is gonna be um you know the um, the great tribulation gonna last for seven years and i ask god to show me or to tell me when are the two witnesses the ministry of the two witnesses going to start so he showed me a written vision saying revelation 11 20 to 24 so then when i woke up i went straight away in the bible to look for these scriptures and i couldn't find 20 to 24 I, actually i think it just lasts two let me just check quickly um he only lasts for he end up and uh, uh, let me see. So Revelation 11, the two witnesses, it lasts up to the nineteen, verse nineteen. And I couldn't find twenty to twenty-four. So I was like, so why why was he showing me this? That's when he reminded me that. He, the question I asked him, which was, when is the two witnesses going to minister, going to start their ministry? So then I understood, probably he's saying, um, you know, from 2020 to 2024, since it's three years and a half, so it's going to be some time um, in midst of 2020 to 2000, some, you know, sometime in 2024. So, yeah, but then if you take back... Um, if you take back uh, seven years, if it's gonna last, it's gonna finish in 2024. If you take 24 minus seven, guess what? 2017. So, and because so many people are having the wake up call at the beginning of this year, it means that this year it starts the great tribulation. So, be ready for. You know, even so many people are talking about, you know, the Third World War starting this year um, or pretty much between this year and 2020, a lot of stuff going to happen. Okay, a lot of stuff going to happen. So I want you guys to be prepared, you know, physically, spiritually, emotionally. I'm not going to say financially because everybody, everything in this world is about to go down. So money, it's going to lose its, you know, value. It's not a matter of money. It's a matter of you being prepared spiritually, okay, to be able to overcome everything that is to come. All the tests, all, all the, no, all, I don't say tests, but all the pressure, all the persecution, if there's going to be any persecution, you know, persecution. But the thing is that most things that's going to happen is actually from, you know, God's side, which is a good thing if we are in God. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but, you know, I still have in my brain about this thing about the three days of darkness. And uh, I need to delete it from my brain, which I'm really, really angry with that. And I don't want to be misleading anyone talking about the three days of darkness because is isn't true. There is no such thing as three days of darkness. At least it's not even mentioned in the Bible and God hasn't mentioned that to me. So pretty much it's not, it's not true. And for those who are making the videos about speaking about the three days of darkness, I, I truly um, advise them not to, to speak about such things, you know, not to be scaring people about such things because... Especially if they're not going to happen or if they're not sure about it or if they haven't heard it from God themselves. Because it can be very misleading. So just pray a lot. I pray also for you that is watching this video to be saved, to be in Jesus. And um, to have a close relationship with Jesus because only that to help you overcome everything that is to come. Because um, soon not going to be any religion. 
the religion is going to be destroyed. Um, not going to be anyone to run to because everyone going to be in big um, pandemic, you know. Everybody going to be, you know, not knowing what to do, you know, scared, shocked, not prepared at all. The biggest thing, not prepared at all. So I really, truly want you people to prepare yourselves. Don't be like doing like some people do, sailing houses and, you know, going over the extreme, over the edge, you know, preparing themselves for all this stuff. Because it's not about what you do right now. It's about what you do spiritually to be prepared for it. And the best thing is to have your close relationship with God. I truly encourage every single one of us to have a close relationship with God. That's the best way out of this. Not only to be saved, to be protected, but to be strong, you know, spiritually strong. Emotionally strong, physically strong, because when Jesus is coming, he's coming with his power and coming with his miracles, he's coming with his, you know, healing people. You know, if he's going to resurrect people, you know, so even if you're ill, he, he, healing someone is nothing, you know, healing someone is nothing compared to resurrecting, you know. So, yeah, again. I pray that you be safe, that you be, you know, prepared, that you be strong, that you be healed, that all your problems be taken away from your life, that nothing going to distract you from preparing yourself for the coming of Jesus, that we might be those that will be rejoicing with his coming and no mourning, definitely no mourning. <laughs> yeah, so... I'm glad, you know, I just want to make sure that I'm bringing the spiritual food for my viewers, more so for my subscribers. And um, I say all these words in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.